halftime here in Marikina for the last regular season day of the MPBL's fifth year. And right now we are featuring Bahor versus Bataan. I ask you this, Coach Mike, as you break down the numbers to us as well, please answer my question. Uh -huh. Who has impressed you the most from the Bataan side so far? Uh, I think it's Joshua who's uh, impressed me a lot. You know, the way that he moved that ball and the confidence to go to the, the rack and getting feet and including Baggio, of course, with a couple of dunks. That's Joshua Santos, by the way. Joshua Santos, right. Numbers tie, Hodge. Yeah, look at the field goals here. Almost 33 and 32 percent, respectively, for Bahor and Bataan. Well, things started out slow. 6 and 5 in the first five minutes. Eventually, both teams made the run. 16 to 9 run in the latter part of the, the first quarter. Rebounds is a plus 9 in favor of Bahor City, which led to 13 assists. Eventually, there's a plus 10 again in favor of Bahor. And the bench really rising up para dito sa Bahor. 22 versus 9. Veloria, Nermal, and Asidre coming up with a 14 of those 29 points off the bench for Bahor. So I assume those three were the ones who impressed you the most on Bahor. For Bahor. Right. Leading scorers natin, Alvin Aldai with 8, Rocky Asidre with 6, Chito Jaime has 4, and Mark Mantuana has 4 as well. On the other hand, for the Badan Risers, we have Jasper Lomalo, Dante Pagin Jr., that's Robbie Darang and Ron Lastimosa combining for, let's do the math, 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3, ilan yan, coach? 8, 14, 21. 21, <laughs> there you go, that's right. Okay, I did ask, uh, <laughs> well, for Mark Montuano, I have to say, I'm really happy for him that he's getting his moments because he really took the ultimate backseat for Bahor in the season. Imagine from being an all-star all the way to the third unit for the strikers. That's a long way. But I did talk to him about it and he said, if that's what it takes for me to get a championship, then I'll take it. Uh, that championship mentality definitely in there for Montoano and uh, ganun naman talaga eh. you know you, the rotations would tables would have to turn eventually and sometimes you're gonna get your, your opportunity and you just gotta stay ready Jethro Sombero is at the stripe speaking of Sombero nakita mo ba yung AI ni ano ni Happy AI yung AI image niya from the Facebook post. Ay, ito ba yung nagtitrending ngayon? <laughs> na pinapasok mo yung mukha mo sa yeah. mga katawan? Mga yeah. parang throwback, younger version of yourself? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you should see what I have you Kamu did. Kamukha ni Jethro? And then, <laughs> you should see his uh, outfit. Hip-hop na, you know. <laughs> How is it related to Jethro Subero? Because he's wearing a cap. <laughs> ah, Subero! <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is our Tito joke of the day. I cannot believe it, Coach Mike. <laughs> Last mo na yan, ha? <laughs> Ay, okay, tagal kong pinrasis yun, oh. Shot lock winding down na tayo para sa pakoro. <laughs> Beirut, Beirut, ha? Scores inside. <laughs> can't believe it. I can't believe it, Coach Mike. Hindi mo nakuha yun after nung... Uh, September pa lang, wala pang October. <laughs> so, Pedro misfires. Lopez got the board. 19-62. 80 seconds to go. Alam, yung, alam mo yung mga so comedy scene yung kung nga rin, hindi nagagets ng tao yung nangyayari. Tapos may mga mat symbols na luwalabas sa paligid. Parang ganun yung nangyayari sa akin kanina eh. <laughs> Coach Louie kaya nakuha rin <laughs> Alam mo, feeling ko si Coach Louie, oo. Oh, oh. uh, si Nico Salvo, oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nakasama kayo niyo mga yan. <laughs> Thanks for trying though, Coach. <laughs> 1962, a minute and 16 seconds remaining. Rocky Asidre is at the stripe. I was actually forward to Rocky piling in with more points in this game. Unfortunately, he got stuck to only six points. He hasn't scored in the second half. And the first half, how many did he have? Six. Six, yeah. Six. Right, that's it. Two threes. 
That's his first point here in the third and fourth race. Yeah, he was part of that uh, 23 point bench point. Then. 91 62. No basket for Josh Santos. Barikai Hiroki. Horns play. Is this the most common play? Uh, because there's a lot of things that you can do with it. You can come off stagger, you can come off uh, double drag, single drag, side weave. There's a lot you can do about it. Para siyang motion offense na inadapt na ng lahat, no? Yeah. As Baguio misfires. Oh, nice. Put back right there. That's by Jubilson Portales. Getting his uh, minutes here, exposure for Batan, and uh, of course, a lot of these guys again hoping to be parts there of the risers next year. Batan, after all, is a program that is built on pride already here in the MPBL. They reached the playoffs for the past seasons of our league. So at a certain point, they were actually threatening the other teams. Eh. They uh, really were. Yeah, you know, really close games. Got that win streak. There was actually a losing streak filled with losses decided by a single possession. Yep. Ganong kasakit yun para sa bataan. Yeah, yung loss nila sa Nueva Ecija, Pacolod, and uh, Manila. Those were, you know, one possession games. But if you think about it as well... Imagine. The Pacolod and Manila games could have been win ano ba, yun yung mga winnable game. Eh. Yeah. They should have taken uh, taken over already. Imagine if they took down Nueva Ecija because they lost only by three points and won over Bacolod and Manila. Again, that's a one possession game. They would have started 7-0. Yeah, the eliminations. Right. And they were up by 19 in that game uh -huh. for that usual Nueva Ecija third quarter comeback. Right. We have eight seconds to go. That looks to be the final score, folks. No more shots here for the Bataan Risers. All right. So we do congratulate them after everything that they have gone through in the season. The Bataan Risers still, they've been very impressive ending their campaign here in our fifth edition. James Castro, Ives Salzon, RV Bringas, Don Vera, Jamil Gabawan, all of those guys who missed in this game. Shout out to them and shout out to those who poured their hearts out as well versus a uh, very tough team to go up against, the Bahor City Strikers. That's right, and you know, hopefully at least the, the coaches could hopefully you know see the results that they wanted. To see John Nermal here really good in this game. 11 points, going three out of five from the field, cup to go with three rebounds in his performance tonight. I was actually hoping that uh, another player outside of the usual first unit would get the best player of the game award. But then again, Nermal played very well. Uh -huh. So congratulations to him and the rest of Pahor and good luck to them, of course, as they begin their MPBL 2023 playoffs campaign this coming Saturday inside the strike gym. It will be Pahor taking on Ilo Ilo, Ilo, Ilo yeah. in the second game this Saturday. That's after Zamboanga versus Quezon. Right. And Quezon will be fighting for home court advantage against the Marikina Shoe Masters. Thank you for joining us. For Andrea Indicio and Coach Mike Perez, my name is Vince Gomez. And this is the Maharlika Filipinas Basketball League of Liga ng Bawa Filipino.